Hey, I'm Rocky Mullet. I usually make devlogs about pixel art game jam games made in Unreal Engine. So feel free to check out the rest of my channel and subscribe. Also check out my stuff on itch. Welcome to this Unreal Engine tutorial. We're going to make a sound gradually change in pitch as we gather collectibles. While my games are 2D, this is totally applicable for 3D games as well. First of all, we need a sound wave. Then we right click and create a cue from it. We'll call it collectible. Then in our playable character blueprint, we'll have a correct mana event. From there, we call play sound 2D. Picking our newly created cue. So if we try the game and collect mana, we can hear that it's always the same sound without any variation. We'll open our collectible queue. If we wanted to make a random pitch variation, so it's not as monotone and repetitive, we could add a modulator node and change the pitch randomly between pitch min and pitch max. If we try that again, we have a random pitch variation. But what we actually want is, the more we gather collectibles, the higher the pitch is, based on how much our mana bar is filled. So, how are we going to do that? We're going to open our collectible queue again, but instead of a modulator, we're going to add a continuous modulator. The continuous modulator doesn't do anything by itself. The point is to have a parameter name that we're going to set in Blueprint to change the pitch based on how much our meter is filled. So we need to give that parameter a name, let's call it collectible pitch. The output will be the minimum pitch and maximum pitch. So we'll try 0.5 and 2 to increase the pitch significantly. The input is essentially when we'll set the minimum value, it's gonna give the minimum output. And when we'll set the maximum value, it's gonna give the maximum output. So we'll set a value between 0 and 1 to the parameter, and we'll be able to tweak the pitch by only tweaking the output. So if we go back to our blueprint, we can't call play sound 2D anymore. Cause it simply plays a sound and we won't have access to it. So what we want to do instead is to delete that play sound node, and add a create sound 2D node. Still picking our collectible queue. This is going to create an instance of our sound, so we can modify our parameter before we play it. Now from our return value, we'll call set float parameter and set the name to collectible pitch. The point of this node is to set the value that will be used as an input for a continuous modulator. In our example, it's going to be mana ratio. This is specific to my game, but it's simply a value between 0 and 1 based on how full of mana the player is. Now that we set our parameter, it's fun and all, but the sound still needs to play. So from the return value again, we need to call play. To play the sound that we just set the collectible pitch parameter to. And now if we try to pick up collectibles again, There you go. Now we can hear that the more we pick up collectibles and the more we fill the mana bar, the higher the pitch of the sound is. The continuous modulator can also be used to change the volume of a sound. What we can do is, instead of collectible pitch, we can see that there are volume modulation params. We could call it collectible volume. So it's the same thing for the input and output. I could set 0.1 for the minimum output and 2 for the maximum. And then in blueprint, instead of setting collectible pitch, we're going to set collectible volume. Let's try that. As we can hear, it's not the pitch that increases anymore, but the volume. So the important part for the continuous modulator is to have the same parameter name in the queue and in the set float parameter node. Thank you for watching. I hope this tutorial helped you. If you have any questions, feel free to comment. And if you liked it, well, maybe like and subscribe. I'm Rocky Mullet. If you wanna try my stuff, my itch page is in the description.